Most people in America are familiar with some of my work as a basically marketing expert or a marketing trainer or marketing strategist, a marketing director, the CEO of my company that I've been for for years. But when it comes time to making a new program, I'm always having to figure out what will fly, what will be interesting to people. So let's do that. What I'm talking about today is being a lie detector. A lie detector recognizes lies. I'm coming here today because I just was guided by the Lord and my soul to walk around my pack because I'm in a tent right now where I'm staying completely out of the wind and out of the rain that is blowing and could ruin my property bags and hopefully make me wet. Now, as an American citizen, I have the right to seek shelter. And when I seek shelter, I have the right to sit anywhere out of the rain. Most people don't find it amusing to stand or sit in the rain. And most people don't like to stand or sit in the rain because we can get marvelously ill once we get the chill of being wet and then go someplace where we don't have the chance to dry. But something I've known and I've learned a long time in my camping experience is that even when we're wet, we can marvelously become warm, but we don't have to really pr predictably immediately get out of our wet clothes. Some people feel you do, but sometimes it actually makes hypothermia set in faster than if you stay in your wet clothes and let yourself thaw and warm up in those clothes. It also might mean that your clothes won't be sticking to your frozen body as much if you're allowed to do that. A lot of times hypothermia people have a problem afterwards because of the freezing cold that has made it to their bones. When that happens, we're in trouble. Now, I'm not talking as a medical expert. I'm just talking as a guy who's been camping. There's a guy who's been living his life out loud in the real world of shelters, homelessness, impoverishment, and poverty that comes when our companies lose us or time us out. Now, if you're someone who wants to become a trophy wife, if you're female, that means you've chosen to get married and you've chosen to marry for money and a little bit of love. And sadly, it means you're making a lot of sacrifices, usually in the bedroom and other spaces and places around your children's lives. 